Hello, welcome to Resident Evil Biohazard. I'm BioResi, and here we are with another unboxing of another statue by um, HCG. Um, and here we go. We're going to bring it down. And today we have Chris. Look at that. Here's the front of the box. Now, the box isn't as big as um, the other ones we've shown this week, um, which is like William Burke and Tyrant and Nemesis. But obviously, um, he's not as big as Nemesis and them. And them. So, on the side, we just have um, Resident Evil. That's <clears throat> a 1 6 scale, Chris Redfield. There's some of the writing. Made with the same material. This one's a 13 and a half inches tall. Um, only 500 pieces worldwide. I've got number 43, which is a pretty low low number. Um, it's made by the same Hollywood Collectibles group. Um, on the side we have the same writing. And on the top we have a really cool Stars um, logo, Raccoon Police Department. Now like the last one, I've already unboxed this because I have no no time in today to help. Now it comes in a, like a polystyrene case again. And then when we lift this, here we are. Now we'll do the stand again, like always. Here we go. Resident Evil 43. I don't know who put that three, it's a really random three. There we go. And now on the other side of it, I'm not sure which way it goes. Here we go. <clears throat> really like this one in Raccoon City, um, like a grid. Um, really cool. And little uh, bullet casings there. Now, I'm not too sure what this is. Let me have a look. Some form of material, it looks like a bit of blood on it. Um, and then we've got like it's on a rock, like a street, isn't it? You can see. I'm not sure if that's like tire marks coming through. But I mean, it looks really nice. The detail again is fantastic, especially when you feel this. It really is top quality. Now, Let's try this with one hand. Here we go. Now we're just going to slot him the peg in here. Just a one again. That should just slide in. Here we go. Now, here we go. I look at that. I mean, that is brilliant quality. Let's go a little closer. Here we go, we can see his ear. He's got like a little earpiece in it, which is really cool. The detail. You can tell he's been working out. And brings to the gun here. And you move it around. I mean, his attention to detail on the face is really high quality. There's his watch there. And zoom in. I like the um, like the knife holder here. I mean, you can't pull it out, obviously, because it's a statue. But it looks really, really good detail. So I'm just trying to get in there, so you can see. It. There's a little case here, or two. Uh, sorry, like two pouches. He's got the um, stars logo here. I think one of my favorite ones is when you turn it around. I like the back of his jacket. It looks really, look at that, the stars. Special tactics and rescue service. A little bit of dust there. I'll come down here. You can see Again, like the clothes, like the material, I mean, it does look like a material, even though it is hard. The way they've done it and the, the paintwork is, is second to none. So like knee, knee pads there. 
comes down here to his boots. Let's bring it round. On this one, it's got his gun holster. Yeah. Now, I have took a few pictures then. Um, they're on. I'm trying to think, they'll be on. They'll be on the page. But when you when you stand um, this particular figure, Chris, next to the tyrant, it just looks amazing when you put them both together, like aiming. And I mean, I've done a, a few good pictures. And as I say, at one point, at some point in the future, I'm gonna try and get all the statues out. Um. Just because, to be honest, I've got limited space, I have my collection out, my collection in a certain place, which will, which I'll show you one day. But um, a lot of these boxes are like put away because ideally, I, I would like one day to get like a room dedicated and have all glass cabinets. But I just at the moment, I've got um, two little ones and not as much space in the house, so a lot of them. Until one day I get my dream little man cave. A lot of them are away, so I mean one day I will get them all out and and then we can do a few little cool poses. But here we go. This is Chris. Chris Redfield. It doesn't it's not as um, expensive this one. I mean I got this one for the same person who bought the Nemesis off actually, it was a UK seller. Um, on a private sale and we agreed I'm so sorry I just want to show you look at that look at the way it's like scrape marks there which is really cool just noticed but um yeah we agreed to um with, for, for me to buy the nemesis and it was only chatting and then the woman said oh by the way I've got Chris and I was like I'll have that as well and I, I couldn't be more happy now the next one I do want to get is Jill and that's probably the figure I want the most. And I haven't got Jill yet, but I mean, I think there's only one on eBay and the person's asking for ridiculous money. And it does pop up, so I am on the lookout. And that, that is one of the figures I really want. Um, I just feel like it's the only figure that's really missing, to be honest, statue-wise. But yeah. Chris Redfield, I'll just put him on that little posing shot next to the box. But um, yeah, I'll be back um, later this week with some more statues because, believe it or not, I still have quite a few more statues to show. And um, and to be honest, I haven't even got to the games yet. So and I've got like um, old consoles and so stay tuned and uh, please subscribe. We'll be doing some walkthroughs later. We're going to continue the Resident Evil Zero walkthrough later. And um, yeah, please hope you enjoy the channel. And I will see you soon. This is be this is Bio Resi, and have a nice day. Bye. -bye.